y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm 35 weeks pregnant. I'm only five weeks away from my due date. And this little girl has been breached pretty much the entire pregnancy. I did a whole bunch of research and I've been doing a whole bunch of exercises as well to try to safely flip her head down. And I'm gonna show you guys those exercises today. I wanna begin by saying I am not a doctor. By no means is any of this stuff to be taken as medical advice. I'm not a doctor. Do not do these exercises until you have 100% gotten clearance from your doctor and that they are okay with you doing these. Some of these are a little on the wild side, so you really, really need to ask your doctor, hey, can I do these exercises to, to safely flip my baby? Are you good with it? Get that clearance first. I have gotten that clearance. You do the same. So if I remember correctly, I started these exercises whenever I was around 30 to 31 weeks pregnant. I got the go ahead from my doctor to start that early. Some women don't start until you're about 32 weeks pregnant. And some of these aren't safe to do before 32 weeks pregnant. So like I said, ask your doctor first. They may have a difference of opinion. My midwife was okay with it. There's only five exercises. Some of them you're going to feel really stupid doing. I feel like so dumb whenever I'm laying in these specific positions. I feel like I'm not really doing anything, but she tends to say otherwise because whenever I start doing these exercises, she really starts moving. And I will tell you the best time to do these exercises is when your baby starts moving and on an empty stomach. So if you're on an empty stomach and your baby just starts moving around in there, let's do these exercises together because that is optimum time for your baby to flip. The first exercise is gonna really open up your hips and loosen your hips. And to do that, you're gonna need an exercise ball or a labor ball. I'll put the link to this one down below. We got it off of Amazon, super cheap. This has been a lifesaver. Whether you're having Braxton Hicks, whatever it is, if you're just feeling a lot of pressure, you need one of these, not just for these exercises. So moms, go get one of these. They're amazing. I feel like I spend my entire life just sitting on this ball. So with the first exercise, all you're gonna do is just be sitting on this labor ball. You're gonna rock back and forth and you're gonna move your hips in a circular motion. Just go back and forth and just feel your baby in your belly. This is really good for opening and loosening your hip ligaments. You can even do a number eight. Sometimes I just sit here and I will read a book and you can do this for however long you want. I tend to do it for about three minutes at a time or if I'm reading my book, I kind of get lost in my book and I tend to spend 30, 40 minutes just doing this in a circular motion. This is really gonna help your hips for whenever you go to do the other exercises, so I definitely recommend doing this one first. So for the second exercise, you're still gonna need your labor ball. These aren't as silly feeling just yet. After this exercise, you're gonna really start feeling silly while you're doing these. All you're gonna do is get on your knees and you're just gonna relax on the labor ball. You can move your hips back and forth, side to side. You can rock forward to back. You can do that one for hours. You can sit and read a book. You can watch a movie. You can watch a TV show. I know I'll read a book or I'll watch a TV show and then in the evenings when me and the family are playing games, we'll, I'll tend to do that or I'll just sit and um, do that first exercise and just bounce on the labor ball and it feels so good. If you don't have an exercise ball or a labor ball, just like that one, you can use the couch and you accomplish the same exact motions and feelings. All you're gonna do is keep your knees on the floor and you're gonna bend over the couch and you can still rock back and forth side to side and you can still move forward and backwards just a little bit, not as much as you would if you had the labor ball, but you're still gonna feel the gravity pulling down on your belly and allowing more room for your baby. For the third and fourth exercise, I highly, highly recommend you get a support person to be near you. Don't do this if you're home alone or if you don't have something close by to catch you because we are so off balance with all the weight on the front of our bellies and you've never done these exercises before, you're more prone to falling and or hurting yourself. So don't do this alone. All you're gonna need is a couch. You need to make sure it's a sturdy couch and that you're safe and please, please, don't do anything that makes you uncomfortable. Don't do anything if you start feeling pain. Don't do any of that. Get clearance from your doctor, please, because this one can be a little bit more uh, dangerous for you and the baby. So what you're gonna wanna do is get on your knees. And with my couch, 
I don't know if your couch is the same way, but right on the inside there is a bar and I like to tuck my feet right into that bar to help give me a little bit more support. So you're gonna sit on your knees and then you're gonna, this is called the forward inversion, the forward leaning inversion. And whenever you go down, make sure you tuck your chin. Now this is the part where you feel stupid because I feel my double chin come out every single time I do this one and I feel so dumb. So I'm gonna show you the motions and you're gonna do it for three breaths or roughly about 30 seconds and then you're gonna come back up. I only recommend doing this about three times at a time. So you can do it two to three times a day, three times each. Make sure you're very well grounded, you're supported. If you have a support person, make sure they're next to you so they can catch you if you go to fall. You're gonna go down with one hand each and you're gonna tuck your chin and go all the way down onto your elbows and hold it for three breaths. Then you're going to come back up the exact same way. So supporting hands, supporting hands on the couch. And then you're going to stand up, just sit up just like this and hold again for three breaths. And you can do that three times each, two to three times a day. When you go to get out of this position, don't just roll yourself over. Support yourself and just swing your feet over the side of the couch. I don't want you ladies to fall. Please don't. All right, so for the fourth exercise, please, this one's more important than this last one that we just did. Please make sure you have a support person nearby because this one is a little bit more dangerous than the one that we, I just showed you with the forward leaning inversion. And so with this one, you're gonna need a, a few different things. You're gonna need your exercise ball or an ironing board. If you don't have an exercise ball, please make sure you don't have just a cheap ironing board. Make sure it's a good one that's very, very sturdy that you can use and a pillow and a couch. I like to use a blanket instead of a pillow because I feel like it puts too much strain on my neck whenever I use a pillow. And I like to use my labor ball. I'm too afraid to use my ironing board. So if you're comfortable using your ironing board, go get those things and come back and I'm gonna show you guys what to do. So for this one, you're gonna lay on the ground and put your feet up on your couch. So let me move this pillow and I'm gonna show you. So scoot your butt up kind of close to the couch, but not super close. And you're gonna lay just like this. You may have to let a little bit of air out of your labor ball or your exercise ball if it is too big. I have mine to the size that it needs to be for me. And you're gonna place your feet on the edge of the couch and you're gonna pull up. Sometimes I have to kick up and roll that ball underneath, extend your legs, and you are going to lay here for 15 minutes. This is doing a good angle of pulling baby down out of that pelvis, and you can relax. Now, if you start feeling lightheaded or having trouble breathing, any of those uncomfortable situations that that's not normal, if you're feeling any pain down here, just go ahead and stop. It could be your body saying, hey, this is too much for me, but you can lay here for a good 15 minutes and just feel your baby move. You can read a book or you can play on your phone, scroll Facebook, do whatever you need to do for 15 minutes. To get out of this exercise, again, this is why you need a support person. Place your feet here and just roll that ball underneath and set back down and then roll over to your side. If you don't have the exercise ball, like I said, I'm not brave enough to use my ironing board because ours is a cheaper ironing board and I just know that that thing is gonna collapse if I was to <laughs> lay on that. You can prop your ironing board up at an angle on your couch and put your feet on the, either side of the ironing board and lay in that upside down inversion and get the same results. Like I said, that's just dependent on what you have available to you. I like that ball one, but you do have to be careful because like I said, it does hurt my neck after a little while. I don't think I can really make it through the whole 15 minutes, but 15 minutes is the recommended time. And you can do this up to twice a day, just whichever one you feel comfortable doing. Sometimes I only do it once a day. So for your fifth option, I kind of roll both of these into one. 
You're gonna need an ice pack, a warm towel, or a heating pad on the lowest setting that it goes, as long as it's not too hot, and a speaker with music. So for the first part of this one, and she does not like this one. My baby doesn't like it. But if she would go head down, then that wouldn't matter and she wouldn't have to feel this. So I like to lay all the way back. You're gonna see my big belly. And I take an ice pack and I know like right where her head is. So I tend to feel like right there is a big round ball of her head. I place it right here on my head or on her head. And then I take my warm towel. So this I dampened and put it in the microwave. Make sure it's not too hot. It's just like giving your baby a bath. If it's too hot, you're not gonna do well. You're gonna potentially burn yourself. And you can just lay here for as long as you want or until this ice pack starts hurting. So while I'm doing this, I like to take my phone, turn my volume all the way up. And I will play music. Turn your phone volume all the way up and I will play music at the base of my belly. It's supposed to be intriguing to the baby to try to get her to go head down. I don't know if it really works, but honestly, at this point, I'm willing to try anything. So I will sit here with an ice pack and I will play some music. Whew. So those are the five exercises that I have been doing for roughly the past five weeks. They tend to make you feel a little silly, especially that the last inversion one, I feel a little silly doing those. But if you guys have any questions on any of those exercises, let me know. I'd be happy to help you guys. I am not a doctor and I'm not a professional. These are just things that I have researched and took a lot of time learning on my own, as well as getting guidance from my midwife. So if you guys have any questions even, let me know. I'd be happy to help you guys. Please pray for me and pray for our little girl that she stays safe and that she flips. I do know that if a C-section is the route that we have to take, I am willing to do that. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get our little girl here safely, no matter what. So if a C-section is what is in our future, then that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But we have five weeks to still try to get her head down and I'm gonna keep working on that. And I'm gonna do these exercises every single day multiple times a day and I'm gonna keep you guys posted to see if they actually work or if our baby just stays stubborn and stays breached. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or words of wisdom for me, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Love you guys and God bless.